This video demonstrates how to configure a client-to-site VPN using OpenVPN on Wagia Cloud. OpenVPN is an open-source virtual private network software that features high security, excellent performance, cross-platform compatibility, easy configuration and management, and good compatibility. It is widely used in remote work, network security, the Internet of Things, enterprise network management, and other scenarios. Client-to-site VPNs based on OpenVPN are commonly used for employees and customers to access the headquarters intranet over the internet, transmit data to the headquarters intranet, and connect to internal servers during business trips. To secure data transmission, a VPN tunnel can be established between the client and the headquarters gateway. The following figure shows the typical topology of a client-to-site VPN. For example, the headquarters gateway establishes a VPN connection with the client through its WAN port with the IP address 172.26.6.190. After a user enters the username and password on the client and is successfully authenticated, the user can access the headquarters server through the VPN tunnel. Visit the official website of Ruegia Cloud, enter your username and password, and click Login. On the home page, click the target project of the headquarters gateway. Then, choose Configuration Device Config Gateway VPN. Click the VPN tab. Click Add VPN Policy to access the Add VPN Policy page. On the page that is displayed, toggle on Enable. Enter a name for the VPN policy in the name field. Alternatively, you can use the default name automatically generated based on the selected scenario and VPN mode. Set purpose to client-to-site VPN. Set VPN mode to the actual VPN protocol. In this case, select OpenVPN. Enter the WAN port IP address or domain name of the headquarters gateway in the server IP slash domain field. The client will use this IP address or domain name to connect to the server. Set server mode to the server authentication mode, which can be account, certificate, or account and certificate. Set protocol to the data transmission protocol, which can be UDP or TCP. In the IP pool field, specify the IP address range for the server to assign addresses to clients. The IP address range should not overlap with the local tunnel IP address. In the server subnet field, specify the server subnet that clients can access once the VPN connection is successfully established. Toggle on flow control for the VPN tunnel as required. Set the total uplink bandwidth and downlink bandwidth. Set the maximum uplink bandwidth and downlink bandwidth per user. Toggle on all traffic over VPN as required. When this feature is enabled, all traffic of clients will be routed through the VPN tunnel. Click Advanced to set advanced parameters. Alternatively, you can use the default settings. Click Add. Click the VPN Account tab. Click Add VPN Account. Enter the username and password in the username and password fields. For example, set username to user1 and password to admin123. Click Add. First, download the OpenVPN configuration file. After successfully configuring the VPN on the gateway, click the View icon in the Action column and click Copy Link. Then, open your browser and paste the link to download the configuration file. Next, we use a Windows 10 client as an example to demonstrate how to perform VPN configuration on the client. If you use other clients other than the Windows 10 client, download the OpenVPN application for the corresponding client version and refer to the official configuration guide for instructions. Download and install the OpenVPN application. In the lower right corner of the client, Click the OpenVPN application and choose Import Import File to import the configuration file. 
If the message file imported successfully is displayed, a VPN connection has been established between the client and the headquarters gateway. Click Open VPN and select Connect. If you use the account authentication mode, enter the OpenVPN username and password. In this example, enter the username user1 and password admin123. The VPN connection is established successfully when connected is displayed on the OpenVPN Connect page. Return to the configuration page on Wagia Cloud and click the VPN Online User tab to view VPN Online users. If user1 is displayed, the VPN connection between the client and headquarters gateway is established successfully. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.